Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah Olson and I live in Minnesota with my husband and our three children. We have a five and a half year old, a three and a half year old, and a five month old. I love sharing about the topics of motherhood, homemaking, and homeschooling. And today's video is a topic that's mixed in right with all of those. Today I wanted to sit down and chat with you about screen free activities for kids. Now screens are pretty much everywhere these days in our culture and they're sometimes really hard to avoid. Now, my husband and I have phones, we have laptops, and we have one television downstairs. And we love our family movie nights, but I wanted to just sit down and chat with you about some ideas that don't involve screens that your kids can do and that I feel will really hold their attention. Our first and possibly our favorite screen-free option is a Yodo player. Now a Yodo player is an easy way for kids to listen to audio content and it can be audio content that is pre-approved by you, the parent. There are physical cards that your child inserts into the top of the Yodo player and then they can listen to classic stories or other funny and interesting tales. I have a video all about the Yodo player as well as a blog post, so I will link both of those down below in the description box for you if you are curious and you want to learn more, but we have loved our Yodo players. We now have a second one for our son Soren, who is now three and a half because we just waited till we felt he was truly ready for it and it has been such a blessing and a gift to our kids and us as parents for quiet time especially but the kids do love listening to the Yodo players throughout the day at other times as well but definitely consider some sort of way to listen to audiobooks whether it is a CD player or even a, we have a record player that has a 101 Dalmatians record on it or a Yodo player there are some really cool options out there that don't involve sitting and staring at a screen and instead your child gets to expand their vocabulary and their imagination and it holds their attention longer than you would think. I also have a link down in the description box below for you that can get you 10% off of your Yodo purchase and I will leave that down below so that you can get a little bit of a discount if you are interested in getting a Yodo player. The next screen free activity we love to have on hand is Magnetiles and you can get Picasso tiles and other brands as well. We just have loved Magnetiles and I got some on a Prime, like an Amazon Prime Day deal which has been such a gift to our family. You can make so many things out of these magnetic plastic tiles. Our son and our daughter, our two oldest kids, play with them every single day and they create all sorts of really cool castles and maybe a zoo, anything you can possibly dream up. A lot of the time in our family, our magnetiles are used in conjunction with what we call our Schleich animals. That's just the brand. They're these hard plastic, realistic looking animal toys and you can create a zoo out of them, all sorts of things. It is so much fun to have just a bunch of magnet tiles and a bunch of pretend plastic animals. I often have said that if that's all the toys we had, just the magnet tiles and the animals, we would be totally set. Another wonderful screen-free activity option is Play-Doh. It's such a great sensory and tactile activity to do and it's pretty inexpensive. If you stop by Walmart, you can always pick up a couple new colors and we have a little bag of Play-Doh tools, which I can also try to link down below for you. We like to do Play-Doh on the kitchen table. The kids have to ask permission to get the Play-Doh out. It's not out randomly all the time. Or we do it on these little tray tables, kind of a lap table that I can also link down below for you. We use those for homeschool as well. So Play-Doh is so much fun. It's just such a classic thing, of course. It's something I grew up with and it, it keeps kids' attention span for a long time. Another great sensory activity idea is kinetic sand. We have two awesome kinetic sand kits that we totally love. They are a dinosaur and a farm set, and I'm looking to expand our collection a little bit, but for now those are the ones that my children were gifted, and I will insert a picture if I can, and I will link them down below for you so you know the exact ones that we got. I like to just have a farm and the dinosaur one because my kids, Sophie and Soren, they can switch off who might want to do farm and who might want to do dinosaurs one day. We do those kinetic sand kits up on the kitchen table, and luckily kinetic sand is something that's easy to clean up. It 
kind of clings together more easily than maybe loose sand from outdoors would and so that is always a favorite with our kids and again it holds their attention span and it gives them something to really play with and be creative with. We love arts and crafts in our family. I'm not a huge crafty mom but the kids love to make things all day long and they love to paint especially. I do love getting out the watercolor paint sets for my kids and I make sure every school year at the start of the school year that I get them a nice new set of washable Crayola paints. I will link that down below for you because it's like a I think it's a 24 either 18 or 24 pack of watercolor paints and we have this really awesome thick watercolor paper pads that we like to use too so I will link that down below. We love getting paint out and it's such a calming activity. I often like to play music for the kids while they are painting too. Something I grew up with playing at my grandparents house was those orange matchbox car tracks and I found some for Soren for Christmas last year and the kids have absolutely loved playing with those on the stairs. So definitely consider getting a pack of those orange tracks because then your kids can build awesome tracks on the stairs or just anywhere in the house if they're propping it up on chairs and things like that and then a handful of cars and you are set to go with some really good screen free fun. Something else that keeps our kids' attention for a long time is a medical kit. They love playing with this pretend medical kit that we bought. I think ours at this point is a combination of two different medical kits, but definitely playing doctor can last a long, long time in our family, and they can even play veterinarian with stuffed animals too. So a medical kit is so much fun. Our kids love playing with calico critters. It's a small dollhouse with little animal figurines and all sorts of little accessories and toys and furniture. It's basically a really sweet dollhouse with animals instead. And although it can be expensive, I found ours on Facebook Marketplace, so definitely keep an eye out for something like that. Something our son Soren has loved is called hex bugs. Hex bugs are these basically little robotic bugs that are battery operated, not remote control operated as far as the ones that we own, but they are really, really interesting and they run along a little track if you build them a track out of magnetiles, which I mentioned earlier. So hex bugs are such an entertaining toy for anyone who loves little creatures and they want to pretend that something is alive. They do creep me out a little bit because I'm not a big insect person, but I still like having those in the house as a great activity idea for our son. I feel like I could mention all sorts of toys here in today's video because by their nature, usually toys are a great screen-free option. But I did want to mention one called Logoberg Blocks today because Logoberg Blocks are kind of like the Lincoln Log toys, those blocks from days long ago and you can still sometimes find Lincoln Logs around but we do like our Logo Berg blocks. They were gifted to us for Christmas last year and the kids really enjoy building buildings out of them and all sorts of things. So definitely check out Logo Berg blocks as well. Maybe this next one goes without saying, but a great screen-free option for our family is reading. We make sure to have a print-rich household, which means books are everywhere and things to read and to look at are everywhere. Things with words are everywhere because we want our kids to grow up in a household that loves reading because reading unlocks the key to so much more knowledge and learning. And we have books upstairs, we have books downstairs. We also have a book box downstairs which shows books with their titles facing forward or facing out, like so you see the front cover. And that has really helped with our kids being more interested in books because they are staring right at the front cover and that's always interesting for them and it makes them more curious and it makes them want to pick up a book and read. So don't underestimate the value of books in your house as a screen-free option. If you get your kids hooked on reading and hooked on just sitting down to look through books, even from a very young age, that will give you a lot of screen-free time and it's so good for them. If you're interested in learning more about reading with your kids as a screen-free activity idea, definitely check out the book, The Read Aloud Family. I love it so much. Of course, we all know that reading is good for kids and reading aloud even is good, but The Read Aloud Family brought that all to light for me again and really emphasized why it's good and she has so many good ideas and strategies in that book for incorporating books into your family's culture even more so. 
We have a toy called Brain Flakes in our house and I actually save it just for read aloud time because we homeschool. We pull it out when I'm reading out loud from a chapter book and the kids can play with Brain Flakes then. But I wanted to make sure to include it in this list today too. Brain Flakes are basically these little circular pieces that have notches all around the sides, all around the circle, and you can hook them together in so many different ways and build all sorts of things out of them. Or it's just something that you can kind of play with and hook a couple together as a sense sensory activity. So I've really enjoyed having brain flakes in our family. Our bucket of brain flakes has something like 500, so we don't dump out the entire thing, but the kids love playing with it, especially when I'm reading out loud to them. But it's something you can pretty much any time of day pull out as a screen-free activity. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful for you to see or hear of some of these screen-free activity ideas for kids. I know that we have really enjoyed having all these different options to pull out as a means of avoiding screens if we don't want to do screen time that day, or just as something fun and something open-ended and creative for our kids to do. It's so beneficial for us to do activities that don't involve screens. And again, our family loves our movie nights too, but I love having this whole toolkit of ideas to pull from. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure you have subscribed to my channel here so you don't miss any of the new videos that come out. I also have an online course called the Present Mama Playbook and it's all about being a more present mom with your children and we delve into all sorts of things in that course like mental strategies and fresh perspectives on motherhood as well as things you can do to keep your home running smoothly behind the scenes and other rhythms and routines that you can have. So you can sign up for the wait list for that course down in the description box below and I hope to see you in the next session of the course. That would be so much fun. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and I'll see you in my next one. Yesterday